NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine, uh, sir, not the outcome we had expected from today's launch, but the bottom line is the crew is safe and sound back here in Baikonur. Uh, your thoughts as the events unfolded today and uh, how we proceed uh, in tandem with Roscosmos from here. So the United States and, and Roscosmos have a long and productive history, uh, going all the way back to the Apollo Soyuz program in 1975, uh, the shuttle Mir program uh, after the, the, the Apollo Soyuz program. And of course, uh, we've been collaborating on the International Space Station now for, for 20 years. Um, so this has been a very long and, and productive relationship, and we want to make sure that it stays strong. I, I want to start by saying um, how proud I am of Nick Haig, our astronaut, uh, and and his wife Katie. Um, you know, they 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 came to Kazakhstan, Baikonur, Kazakhstan, uh, for a, a launch to the International Space Station on a Russian Soyuz rocket. Um, Nick, uh, like all of our astronauts, learned Russian in order to, to do this launch. He's been training for five years. Um, this was his first trip to the International Space Station. Um, and so I, I, I am confident that he's disappointed. I, I will also st say that um, we are thrilled um, that he's safe. We are thrilled that even though it was a launch failure, all of the safety systems worked. Um, and from what we know so far, his communications, um, the crew's efforts um, were heroic. Uh, they um, both came home safely. Uh, and uh, for that, um, we're extremely grateful. And I also want to say that we're also proud of Alexei Ovchinin, his Russian counterpart on the same Soyuz crew capsule. And um, so it has been a long day. It's been a difficult day. Uh, the NASA family, and this is critically important, the NASA family has to be so proud of all the people that worked so hard and prepared so well for this. Um, when you think about where the crews were, where they landed, it was a ballistic re-entry. Um, we don't know all the details uh, at this point as to how many Gs were pulled and, and those kind of things, but we do know this that on a ballistic re-entry, we had the right people in the right place. We had uh, you know, flight surgeons downrange on helicopters with their Russian counterparts. Uh, we had airplanes ready to go so that those helicopters could get to the closest airport where airplanes could pick up the crew. Um, the flight surgeons um, executed splendidly. Uh, Nicole Mann was, was there with the family all day today. Um, and she's an astronaut herself. Um, in the same class as, as Nick Haig. Uh, so they were longtime friends and counterparts. Um, to have her there supporting the family uh, when, for a period of time, we didn't know uh, what the situation was. Um, and watching the NASA family go into action to make sure that um, all the information could be gathered, that um, our crews were safe, uh, it really was uh, uh, a difficult day and at the same time an amazingly, um, in so many ways, an amazing, amazingly successful day. Uh, so the, NASA, the whole NASA family needs to be proud. Uh, Bill Gerstenmaier, um, of course, the Associate Administrator of, of uh, Human Exploration and Operations is here. Um, and, and of course, watching his team go to work. Uh, it, Brian Kelly, uh, the, the Director of Flight Operations from the Johnson Space Center, uh, of course, uh, so many others. If I start naming names, it just uh, it gets to be too many. But um, this was my first opportunity to see them all in action when something happened that wasn't exactly perfect. And uh, it is it is overwhelmingly clear to me that um, uh, that they've been working for a very long time uh, together, and. Um, and they and they just did they just did uh, a, a magnificent job. I also want to to say um, you, you know, Katie Haig, uh, Nick's wife, uh, is probably the perfect wife. <laughs> uh, she is not only um, a, a, an Air Force spouse; she's an Air Force officer herself, and of course she's involved in communications. She's a public affairs officer. Um, and to watch her um, in action while her husband was going through this uh, was, was very impressive. 
um, Bev Haig, Nick's mom, and Don Haig, Nick's dad, um, and the way they the way they handled themselves in this was uh, was amazing. And you know, Nick himself. Uh, uh, I'll just say this: when when I got to see him at the airport just a few minutes ago, his personality was as bright as ever. Um, and so I, I am I am uh, I'm humbled, and um, and and just uh, thrilled with the quality of people the the amount of effort um, and training and everything that went into this uh, it, it was a tough day no doubt um, but at the end of the day uh, the training paid off for everybody on the ground uh, the, the the crews were all ready everybody was prepared um, and and this is what they trained for this is what they prepare for uh, and it worked the Roscosmos has vowed to get to the bottom of this and they said specifically Mr. Rogozin said that it would be on behalf of the international partnership that they would get to the bottom of this. In the meantime, the space station flies smoothly on with a crew of three on board. Uh, your thoughts about the intertwining of work by NASA and Roscosmos in the hours that followed this incident and where it leads us from this point on? That's a wonderful, a wonderful question. And, um, you know, my counterpart, Dmitry Rogozin, uh, the head of Roscosmos, the general director of Roscosmos, um, watching him uh, go, in, go into his actions and watching his crew um, start their procedures, uh, I, I do believe that, um, that, 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 um, that they did the right things, that um, they had the right people in the right places, and, and their crew working side by side with our crew, both in, you know, in, on the brink of space and uh, on, on, on deck. Um, that, too was, that, too, was impressive. Look, this relationship is strong. Uh, we can both, uh, both of our nations can do more uh, together than we can do separate. And they recognize that and we recognize that. And so as we move forward, certainly w we want to um, provide any information that we can provide in the investigation. We want to make sure that when we do launch again, and, and, and I, I believe we will launch again on a Soyuz rocket, um, that, we, that we understand uh, what this anomaly was that we resolve it, uh, and that together we can uh, launch again and have success. Jim, the NASA team that uh, comes here to Baikonur for every one of these Soyuz launches uh, specifically prepares for contingencies. And uh, today uh, it was a choreography that uh, really went very smoothly, given the circumstances of a difficult day, as you described. Uh, your thoughts on how that all unfolded? You know, uh, the... The capabilities of the NASA team are, are just amazing. Um, the training, the resources, um, the amount of effort that goes in years ahead of time. Uh, you know, everybody knows that our astronauts, in some cases, train for five or even ten years before they do their first mission. Um, you know, when you think about people like Kirk Shireman, who is the program manager on the International Space Station, you know, his whole team is here. Um, and. It's clear from his, his leadership that it has filtered down to the entire organization, um, watching them spring into action and um, get through the, the necessary uh, procedures to, to make sure everybody is safe. Um, Pat Forrester is another person, the head of the astronaut office, a retired astronaut himself. Um, you know, he got right on the plane. Uh, Dmitry Rogozin, the head of Roscosmos, you know, flew out uh, to um, an outlying field where the helicopter brought our astronauts and, um, and, and, and certainly um, Pat Forrester and his, um, his experience and his knowledge as an astronaut himself, the confidence that he brings to the crew, um, those kind of things are, are important and they matter. It's also true that um, we have a number of really impressive flight surgeons. One was there for the off chance that there would be a, a, a ballistic reentry. In other words, an unplanned reentry from uh, an aborted launch, um, and uh, Bill Tarver was there uh, on a on a on a Russian helicopter, um, and of course he was downrange, just kind of uh, waiting and prepared. Um, and of course, when those crews um, got out of the capsule, he was the first one on scene. Um, another another impressive impressive guy that. Um, we all, as a NASA family, need to be need to be proud of, and of course, uh, Blake Chamberlain, um, another uh, flight surgeon that uh, that went downrange, 
um, with Pat Forrester, the head of the astronaut office, um, ready to meet our crews. And now, now our crews are, are you know, back at, in Baikonur um, at a hospital going through some evaluations and, um, and they're with their families. Uh, you just think about the entire NASA team. Um, it, it is an impressive, impressive group of individuals. Some of the smartest, most capable, best trained, <laughs> and they've been here a long time. Um, and it's daunting. It, it's absolutely humbling to be at the head of this agency, especially on a day like today.